And we have dramas here on court one. Peter Corder has gone down. He went down very badly on his left ankle. We'll see it here in replay. And for quite some time, it looked like he would not get up. And he has hobbled over to the side of the court. He would appear to have partially strained his ankle or sprained it, suffering quite an amount of discomfort. And I'm quite sure there will be an immediate timeout for injury. That time will start from the time that assistance arrives at the court. You can see that ankle was already heavily strapped. All the players uh, suffer ankle strains and sprains on these courts. It was on this very court several years ago that Mark Woodford turned his ankle in a very nasty way which required surgery and took him out of the game for more than half a year. And uh, if Peter Thakorda could have thought that one more thing could go wrong in his life, this is it. He's got ice on it immediately. He was able to hobble off the court. We can see it again in replay. Very hard, I and mean, it wasn't even uh, moving to the ball. It's just that he appeared to misplace his foot and went over rather nastily on that left ankle. Maybe he just changing his mind as to whether he was going to follow that ball to the to the net or not. And, uh, thoughts getting uh, in front of his uh, physical. Happens when you get over 30. You can think better than what you can run sometimes anxiously waiting for assistance to come and here it is One of the tournament trainers very experienced in taking care of these things and diagnosing them and he will discuss this situation with Peter and uh, decide whether it's uh, something that he can play on with or whether it would be uh, pointless to do so fear more damage by playing on it. As Galo Blanco, the state of the match is delicately poised. Peter Corder is leading 4-3 in the third set. He won the first set 6-3. He lost the second 7-6, seven, seven points to one in the tiebreaker. And this game has gone to juice several times. It's an add to Blanco at this point to level this third set at four all. Strapping has been taken off. Bill Gilmore, the referee overseeing this particular situation. Bill Gilmore, a former international tennis player himself, played with Merv Rose, the European tour in the early 50s. Became a very successful tennis coach in Sydney. Here it is being re-strapped. That underwrapping goes on so the uh, tape doesn't actually tear the hair off every time. And I dare say it will be strapped uh, a little bit more vigorously than what it was as a precaution. These trainers really experienced with the uh, strapping to create the right effect, the right structure to support the ankle. And he has a real time pressure on him. He certainly wouldn't want to contribute to a penalty default situation. There's the announcement from the umpire. There is two minutes remaining. And the umpire anxiously watches the trainer to uh, see if this will, this procedure will be completed within those two minutes. Here is the replay again. It is the left ankle. And it does seem that his feet were actually in the air when he decided he should be following this ball to the net. And his uh, left foot came down on the side and twisted it. And foot went in. Most 
innocent of moves. But these uh, innocent accidents happen. Uh, Evgeny Kafelnikov working out in a gym a couple of uh, years ago dropped a weight on his thumb and had to withdraw. Mark Woodford a couple of weeks ago just catching a, a practice serve with his great mate Todd Woodbridge broke a finger and that's made his uh, preparation for this championship that much more difficult. One minute remaining. One minute remaining, which is actually one minute and 30 seconds because he'll then have 30 seconds to get the ball into play or be ready to play. But, uh, I would think that he will be hampered quite considerably by this nasty twist of the ankle. Bill Gilmore just inquiring as to whether he really thinks he will continue. He's shaking his head. It's not looking good for the defending champion. 30 seconds remaining. The world has certainly turned in the last 12 months on Peter Corder. This time last year, his dreams of winning a Grand Slam came true, and he was the happiest man on the planet. But now, mauled in the press, maligned by his fellow player, and now physically hurting as well. Advantage Blanco. Advantage Blanco trying to level this match at 4 all. Yes. Porter trying to fight on, hobbling. when he went wide for the forehand he pushed off with all the weight on his left foot it doesn't uh, seem to be permanently hard. damaged and it's a break point for 5-3 the easiest thing for Deuce. Gallo Blanco to play against an injured player. You never know whether to play conservatively. And sometimes in doing that, you allow the player time to get to the ball. Advantage. Despite the injury. Forces it back to Juice again. Marvellous variety of power and touch. Juice. Carlo Blanco, just 22 years of age, resides in Andorra, Spain. And he was discovered when he was just 14 years of age by Luis Correcha. Alex Gretsch's dad. Blanco. Then virtually adopted him, took him into the family home, looked after his education and his tennis tuition. again
Gallo really struggling to win the serve now. Deuce. Beautiful striking ability from Peter Corder from behind the baseline. Effortless power. Not excessive topspin. The ball really penetrating. All four games all. Third set, one set all. Play has been underway for two hours and 11 minutes. And this will be a telling game for Peter Corder. Second serve and a very pronounced limp after the second ball going out of play. Fifteen. Again, Peter Corder hobbling after the point. Four in the third set. There's some consultation on the change of ends from the trainer for Peter Corder, but the trainer seems to have left the court now. Corder still limping remarkably. The next few games will tell. Saying that he must win this third set if he's going to have any chance. Carlo Blanco serving. Thank you. 
serve for a relatively small player, Carlo Blanca just 5 feet 8, 1.73 metres, that serve at 187. Yes. Struggled in his previous service game at 3-4 when he was down several break points that was the game of the incident where quarter rolled on his left ankle took three minutes injury time had his ankle retaped and looping markedly since serve to save it. Carlo Blanco standing well wide of where most singles players stand to serve. Unusual, especially against a left-hander. Trying to get a little more access to their backhands by standing close to the centre. and Carlo walking as if he thought the ball was good. a mental error of the first order really working the injured opponent out at the back of the court forcing quarter to run and then trying a drop shot and a very poor attempt didn't even make his net the net bounced twice on his side of the court and so again the quarter has a set point shoulders and now an injured ankle as well.
Beware of the man with the injury. Quarter leads. Two sets to one. We'll be back after this break. Things that make you go, hmm. And Peter Corda really limped after the previous point. The ball hopped on him and he uh, landed with all his weight on the injured left ankle. He's been just walking around in circles. Game point for Galo Blanco to lead 3-1 in the fourth set. He has the break. A significant struggle he has forged ahead and now we will go to court three draper and here we are in the outside uh, areas where there's all sorts of commercial activity gambling on the matches oh dear dear it started in england didn't it john it certainly did but here a little bit of a gamble for court up who unfortunately has just lost his serve to go 5-4 down and uh, I'm not sure that he's going to come out of it he's two sets to one up and of course he's got his injured ankle and he's struggling he certainly is it looks like it's going to go to five sets leave it there and let's go to court six Jason Stoltenberg Craig Hutchison one and here's the scene with Galo Blanco He's getting some injury time on his stomach. Well, I didn't notice him do anything specific to tear a muscle, but it looks as if he's done something rather serious there. Um, usually in this sort of circumstance, it means that you stretch for something or leap for a ball and a muscle goes, but I didn't see that happen, did you? No, not at all. And there was no indication or grimacing during the points just a quiet call for the trainer. Obviously there's pain there for him, the way he's grimacing. Oh, I don't know if my tummy was all right and somebody was sticking their fist into it, <laughs> it might be grimacing too. <laughs> it was all right until you started doing that, Doctor. But uh, this is going to be a match of attrition. It was Peter Corder who went down rather nastily in the third set and twisted his ankle he took injury time had it re-strapped and uh, after he went down he just lay on the ground motionless for quite some time and curled up and then finally hobbled up and hobbled to the side of the court he got treatment he's limped uh, markedly ever since there is the state of the match Blanco just one game off leveling the match at two sets all and you had to think if it went to five sets that he would have a major advantage but now with this latest twist, it's almost like uh, one of those uh, soap operas, the General Hospital. We don't know who will marry who now. And the umpire keeping a close watch, of course, he has to on the timeout. Three one minutes minute allowed, minute. plus the four, uh, sorry, plus the one and a half minutes of change of end. So it's four and a half between the last shot of the previous game and the first serve of the next. And uh, he's going to need all of that by the look of it. I don't know what... Uh, Couldn't possibly be a cramp, could it? I don't know. I don't I, know what it is. I don't see that you'd treat a cramp like that, but... Uh, I don't think it could be a pulled muscle. I think you wouldn't, te you wouldn't we've, we've tear a, into a pulled muscle, would you? We've got a pill. Perhaps it is cramp. Perhaps that's what it was. And frankly, I don't know about you, John, but I'm one of those people who doesn't like this new rule which allows for the first time this year the treatment for cramp. I think that is a loss of condition which your opponent has inflicted on you by making you run and work and you shouldn't be treated for that. I absolutely agree but we're of another generation. I always thought if you could tire the other guy out to the point that he got cramps you deserve to win. If whatever is wrong with him he can still play well enough to take this serve and take it into a fifth set he has struggled on serve enormously over the last uh, three or four times at serve 
very long games, many juices. And generally, if there is a stomach injury, it's the serve and the smash that get, get, get affected. Stephen of play in this fourth set. Blanco went off to a 4-1 lead, and it looked for a moment as if Corda was, uh, well, not giving up entirely, but suffering still from that ankle. Corda broke for 4-2, broke back for 4-2, and held for 4-3. Broke again for four all, but then he's just lost his third serve. And now two points away from the set. Two first rounds, the last two years here. So it looks as if he did stand a chance of winning against an injured man today. Not if he does that. Certainly from Corder's point of view, absolutely essential that he does try and take advantage of whatever is ailing Blanco and closes this match out now. He does not a fifth set with an injured ankle. And Blanco making a calculated decision rather than trying to outmaneuver Corder in a point and expose himself to the physical stresses, just went for the winner and pulled it off. Back at juice. He's leveled the fourth set at five all. Let's go to court six with Craig Hutchison. And players are changing ends. Corder has the break. He led two games to love. Carlo Blanco just won his service game to go 2-1. And it looks like Corder might actually eke out this match, but it has been a real trial which is something he is familiar with recently. So there is the score. 2-1 with a break in the fifth. Peter Corder leading Galo Blanco. And now let's go to court two. Good news in this dramatic match on court one for Peter Corder fans. He is leading in the final set, 5-2. With a double service break, he will be serving for the match. They're on the change of ends. And he has this match in hand. Alabanco, who has fought long and hard and has also suffered injury, is about to capitulate. So let's go out to court six and see how Jason Stolt. And Peter Corder is just coming off a double fault that has put him down break point. Two double faults already this game. Oh, well played. But finding some courage when he needed it. He pounds his heart. And look at a big second serve and a good volley. Yes. Very nice and close at bars. He's looked very tentative this game. Remember, he is nursing a very badly twisted ankle, which was heavily strapped in the third set. Thank you. It's Deuce. Ah, 182, and it's an ace. His 12th of the day, and it has produced the first match point.
So the defending champion is still alive, although it looked extremely doubtful when he fell heavily and had that ankle strap. When he was first having uh, the treatment, he was shaking his head and it really looked like he was going to just try walking on it and he may have thought that he had to withdraw but he played on and he limped badly after points and the crowd has taken a dislike to something fellow Blanco getting the, the bird as he leaves the court very hard to understand and I think it was because John he didn't go to the net to shake hands with Corda and that tells you what some of the players feel about this man, this unfortunate fellow who has been uh, found with an illegal substance in his body last Wimbledon. And the whole thing has come to a head and it looks as if it's going to be a pretty ugly two weeks. Yes, I wonder whether it was compounded, John, by the fact that uh, some players, when they twist something, go over and then limp and yet are able to play, often uh, create a little bit of antagonism amongst other players. But uh, I take your point. I think uh, that there is a lot of players who feel very badly towards uh, Peter Corder. It's uh, such an unfortunate uh, situation because he'd always been such a well-liked player, a nice person. We were so happy to have won here last year. But these circumstances are truly unfortunate for all concerned. And Gallo Blanco expressing himself without the traditional handshake. He will be fined heavily for that. Peter Corder winning in five sets the hard way. 6-3, 6-7, 6-4, 6-7, 6-2.